beginning of chapter 21, recording from my grandmother who just passed away, Harveen Bat Chaim, and Hashem should uh, give her neshama an aliyah. Okay, the, he says, He said, to be a sadiq, you know, it's hard enough. So for sure, a chasid is even harder. You need a lot of depth of thought and introspection. Which means, you know, the whole reason the Ramchal wrote this Sefer is to come and prove to the world that to be Hasidur is not to go just mikveh every second and go do sigufim in freezing cold. You know, it's an intellectual thing. You've got to use your mind. So, which means a chassid, what's always fascinating for him and preoccupying his mind, how great and unlimited Hashem is, right? He's omnipresent, he knows everything, he's unlimited, he's called Yakhol, right? He's almighty, he can do anything and everything. And how weak and futile and small we are. So how big is he and how small we are. This is going on in the... He's obsessed with these ideas. Because this is Yirat Hashem, right? Parenthetically, every day of the Omer, we have to look on one of the 48 ways of wisdom. Memchet Kenyanim. That's how the Maharal explains Be'ema of Yira. The sixth one, key to wisdom, is Be'ema. Be'ema is to realize how small we are. Yira is to realize how unlimited and grand Hashem is. Like the Zohar says, Begin the Ihu Rav Vishalit. We have to know Hashem is unlimited and controlling and supervising on everything. So it's an amazing idea, right? That Hashem is everywhere, He can do anything, He's... Yirgom Sheimalei Yirato Veradam Mefanav. This causes us to fear and tremble in front of Hashem. Now, another thing that the Hasi talks about is how Hashem loves us and is so kind to us. Baruch Hashem Raisi died, and all the people in that helicopter. Hopefully, soon Khamenei, and then whole, his whole gang of thugs and hoodlums, and all the people that support them. So. We have to understand Hashem has an unlimited love for Klal Yisrael. And He always wants, see, contrary to public belief, a lot of times when Hashem gives us a curveball in life, we have difficulties, Yisurim, we think Hashem hates us. No. We're, we've gone on autopilot. We forgot what our... Um, you know, that's the whole meaning of this week's parsha. Bahar, Bahar is the Shemitah. Once every six years, you have to take a break, like Shabbat, and realize, why am I here for? Am I here to work? Am I, do I own my property, or does my property own me? You know? Hmm. Some people, they don't own their business. The business really owns. Hmm. Who owns who? So, you understand? So, Oma'alot HaTorah V'amitzvot. The Hasid is always thinking about, this is why we're counting the Omer, by the way. Every day we're counting and building ourselves up how precious the Torah is. Honestly, I would commit suicide if I was a guy. They have, you know, it was, you know, uh, we've, we've, we've come to a society, you look on the college campuses, you look at the liberals nowadays, you look at society, they want to make men into women, women into men, everything is upside down, you know, it's, um, we're so lucky that we have the glorious Torah to be our GPS, to be more of an angel than an animal. Every day we're becoming, as the, the rays of Mashiach come, we're becoming closer and more godly. We're becoming more godly, ma'la ma'la, and they're going mata mata. I don't know how, like Einstein says, there's only a limit to genius, there's no limit to stupidity. So we see that every day. Just when you thought that it was the... Ninth inning, and they can't go deeper in a deeper hellhole. They go deeper and deeper. <laughs> they come up with new chidushim, how to be more of a shaygitz and a mishugina. 
so we can yot semin ha'inyonim v'al nimudim, and obviously, when you learn Kabbalah and you see how deep the Torah is, that gives you this um, overwhelming love and appreciation, a meaning. You know, the greatest pleasure is to know that you have a meaning, which is going to be our third class. Uh, we're going to do a short class on Mazal. I want to thank Jason's for that one. So again, from fearing Hashem, the Hasid goes to loving Hashem. He has this nuclear love for Hashem because he sees Hashem was so nice to us that he, we're the chosen. We have the Torah and the mitzvot that make our life meaningful. The whole Shira Shirim, right? He, he has a ta'ava. He has this great desire to become attached to Hashem. Because what's the source of all this unlimited greatness? And all this unlimited wisdom and light? The best way to put it is light. Is Hashem. Once the Hasid understands and feels in every blood, every drop of blood in his being, the Hasid knows that Hashem has mercy on us like a father does to his children. So then for, once you understand that Hashem is our Avinu Avarachaman, He's our caring father, like, like I said in my grandmother's yurt site, there was like five, six hundred people there at her um, uh, thing, Shiva, the last day of her Shiva, the, the, her memorial. Rabbi Victor Miller says the greatest tragedy is not October 7th, not the Holocaust. The greatest tragedy in Jewish history is Hashem told us, Vatem tiyuli mamlechet kohanim v'goy kadosh. Every Jew is a kohen, is an ambassador. And the Navi Yeshaya says, Or legoyim natatiha. So he says the greatest tragedy in Jewish history is the, Jewish, the Jew forgets his mission. Instead of being a leader, he becomes a follower and he does all these disgusting avodah zarah and stupidity and silliness of the goy, right? Instead of teaching the goy, right? This is what it means to be godly. This is what it means to be human. This is, you know, to be that sterling example. So that's what the Messiah Yeshayim is saying here. He's saying once... You understand how much Hashem loves you like a father, then you also be obedient and want to give nachat ruach and pleasure to Hashem like a son always wants to make his father so proud of him. Okay, Chazak Baruch, we're going to go to Divrei Halacha.